Hey everyone, and welcome to Fallout to London. Before we get started on this playthrough, I just wanted to say I will only be doing three parts to this series since my Fallout 3, 4, and 76 videos did so terrible. With my Fallout 3 and 4 videos getting less than 4 views, and my 76 videos getting 14, 7, and 5 views. So for the Fallout London series, I will do three parts unless all three videos get 15 views or more. At least I'm doing good on my last few videos, since you all like to see that sexy furry fox anime ass. What the fuck? <sighs> I mean, really, why are these wild assault videos doing better than my last few videos? Stop it. Get some help. Stop watching me play as a sexy fox girl who is not as hot and sexy as Crystal from Star Fox. She's a million out of ten. Woo! Or go watch my other videos, like my Indigo gameplay. Y'all like Ramley the Raccoon, right? Maybe my other video, called Star Fox's 30th Anniversary from last year, I worked so hard on that. And it got less than 700 views. Which, I mean, it got double than my 25th Anniversary video from 2018. I'm getting ahead of myself. Again, 15 views or more on all three of my Fallout London videos, and I'll do part 4, 5, and 6. You get the point. I think I kept you all here long enough, so let's get into some Fallout London. I hope you all enjoy. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of man, when tribes beat each other to death over necessities, the will to power has been the driving force of mankind. When the great fires of humanity's ambition ravaged the earth, it was not our doing. For the bloodiest chapter of human history had only begun. Britain was not spared the hellfire. And London, a monument to mankind's ambition, was returned to the state of nature. Those who emerged from the ashes did so from a network of underground bunkers known as Pindar stations. And so it was that the embers of civilization would ignite once again. Over a century later, through the military might of the Tommies, an aristocratic parliament continues to give orders. But few are still listening. In the Tower Hamlets, the fifth column rises. Training drums beat and uniforms march, all in the name of their dear leader, Eve Varney. Across the Thames, in the pastures of Richmond, a great army gathers strength. Styled on the Camelot Knights of days past, they're headed once more unto the breach. For there are whispers of angels beneath this hallowed land, a curtain of illusion and intrigue, a puppeteer behind the scene. Only one thing is certain. Those who take the road to Westminster will be forever changed. Because in mankind's pursuit of power, there is no price too high, no life too valuable, and no ideal too sacred. Because war 
War never changes. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Stand clear of the door, please. The intro was amazing, dude. I got, I got chills, and it just got brought back from to like Fallout One, Two, New Vegas, and Three. Oh, it was so cool. Uh, we'll go with mail. Subject has been performing adequately. The spikes and visuals, nothing unusual. Perfectly usual. Quiet. Smythe will be pleased. How are they in appearance? Uncertain. Perhaps we should take a closer examination. A test subject, or like sub create. Oh, here we go. This is where you create it. Okay. Uh, how do you do? Okay. Okay, that's how you do. It. Okay. Um, not really keen on my creating my character. I usually always create my character the same way too. Back. Uh, okay, buddy. Let's go ahead and create a character real quick, and I'll show you how he looks at the end. We'll just go ahead and skip it forward. So this is how my character looks. <laughs> looks very basic. Just looks like right, my character I usually create in Fallout 4. I looked through all the hairstyles, all the facials, and nothing just spoke to me. Mo nothing just. There was one for the beard, but I chose not to pick it. I just picked the classic Lone Wanderer look. And the hairstyle, kind of the same, but it's one of the newer ones. It's called Maximum Casual. But this is our character. We'll just we'll just go forward with it. Excellent. A rapid progress is being made. And with zero anomaly. Of course. Now, what about their physical and mental development? Hmm. Oh, okay, this is where you create your character. Or, not character, but create our attributes. Let's call our character this. Okay. Now, I know I want strength to be 9. Uh, I'm gonna put this at 7. Keep that at 6. Perception at 4. Wait a minute. I have more after Oh! Oh, it's one of the mods I had from my Fallout 4. It's one of those, um... I got a mod that's called Classic, um... Special Attributes, or something like that. It gives me... Well, uh, this is how I explain it. Okay, so it gives me the basic attributes for... Each character, when you're starting out in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Like that, see? So I can basically put all this on here. Oh, okay, so that mod works, because I know there was, like, a list of mods that can work, and some that don't. Um... Let's go Endurance. Or should we go Charisma 9? Because in one of the videos I was watching about like what you should what you should know before playing is there's a lot of charisma based um there's a lot of charisma based um things in the game so I might as well put my charisma at, at nine because so I can get through each of those charismas. I think this should be good for now. It says I'm worried about the guns too because I said I want to experience the guns in this game too, but they mostly. They also said that you're gonna mostly depend on melee weapons. I hope that's actually not true. And uh, oh, oh, attributes. Not too bad. You gain 10% movement. Lose 50 pounds of carrying weight. Lose negative one to specials when under the influence of chems. 
but it makes them. Oh, it quad. Oh, so they last four times more. Okay, it's cool. But I have to always freaking be under the influence of camps. Plus one to specials when outside. Suffer negative one now. Plus one when wearing glasses. Okay, that's. I know that. Plus one to each special or suffer 15% experience. Ooh. Melee on arms do 20%, but power attacks are meaningless. Oh, that means you can't even do power attacks anymore. You gain 75 carrying capacity, but speed drops to zero when over encumbered. Okay, so that means that if I get over encumbered, I can't move at all. I think I, I think I seen that work in um in Outer Worlds. Kamikaze. Action points 15% faster or 50% faster. But you're reckless and make sure you take 20% more damage. Weapon damage. Ooh. Night. Sleep. What is sleep? Plus one intelligence and perception during night, but the opposite during the day. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Plus one strength and endurance and luck, but your intelligence can never exceed three. Ooh. But what if you put your intelligence at 10, but you keep, and then, yeah, but what if you put your intelligence at 10? I, I want to try that sometime. I wonder if it'll, like, even bring it back down to 3. But I like these little animations. These are awesome. I wonder if these are also for the perks. Plus 1 strength and endurance. This is reversed if the player drinks alcohol or uses chems. Seems good if you're not gonna if you're not gonna be using um chems and if you're not gonna be drinking alcohol in the game. To so give her a curse, who knows? You often find yourself waking up in strange places with no memory of how you got there. <laughs> what if you can like sleep in one location and then you're on the other side of the map for some reason? <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so. I love the 10% movement. Chemhead seems pretty good. Like you can probably counter that. You can counter that. Or no? You can't. I want Kamikaze, but I can take more damage, and I don't know how. I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of gunplay or a lot of enemies using guns, just like how I learned in that video of what should I learn. But I can get, I can take gifted. I want to, I want a plus one on everything. I don't care if I have to gain less experience. I'm sure there's multiple ways I can, I can get um more XP. I'm going with four eyes. I've never used four eyes in New Vegas or three, or no, just in New Vegas. I think New Vegas is the only one that had traits. Okay, looking back at, did I call these attributes? <laughs> They're called traits. Okay, and then I'll do this one gifted. And that should be it. Gentlemen, I trust everything is going well. Tremendously so. In fact, it may be our best work yet. Good. The subject looks ready for conditioning. Within a week or so, we can wrap up phase one. Thank you, sir. I'll set phase one on autopilot. See that it's done. Seems to be rousing a bit. Not to worry. Let's put them back under. Okay. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh! What's that weapon he's using? You see that? It's like the, it's like the um the LMG from COD, the one that has the magazine on top. I think it's also from World War Two as well. I loved using that. I want, I want to use that. Dude had no reaction when the explosion happened. What the flip? Broken angel. I... 
Oh! Gah! Imagine if you had to hit this in real life, you'll probably get, um, there we go. You can probably get, um, a, fucking, your hands will be all bloody. Do the scientists have anything else on them? Oh, that was, <laughs> okay. Ah, God, oh, ooh. Why is it like that? Oh. Global hub color. I think that fixes it. Just look at it. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! What if I turned that to zero? Ah, there we go. That's better. Oh, that is a lot better. There is, I know there's crafting because in that guide it also told me there's like going to be five, only five settlements. At least five settlements, seven companions. So I better grab everything I can. Back to the basics. Grab, <laughs> grab everything. Oh, I can search these. Team files. Oh, oh shit! Oh! Oh, I got- I, got, I thought I could go that way! Okay, I'm gonna die. Oh man, how can I heal? That's just gonna be- that's just gonna be constantly there. Oh, that's just a Patreon thing. Oh, hey! hey it's a GOG.com shirt! I hope my freaking sensitivity is not too fast. Those pencils clip through the freaking ground. What the fuck is this? It's a rat! Ammo. Giant ass rat. Wait, what the fuck? Terminal? Oh! Oh, that's so cool! With rad rats? Those are rad rats? Hey, my other mod's working. Faster terminals. That's cool. Oh, jeez. Oh, if I get hit, I'm dead. Okay, I'm sorry. The freaking music is very, very loud. I'm literally one hit. If I get hit once, I'm dead. Pick up device. Oh, hey, look, the pit boy.
The fuck? Oh, I can't. That's so cool. There's like a little terminal. So it says pick up the vice. So is this supposed to be our pit boy? Looks like a little cartridge. Oh wow. Dude's looking at it looking at it like what the fuck is this? I'm surprised your character is even smart enough to use this. Oh, I don't I kinda don't like how it separates it, but I, I, I like it. But kind of um not what the flip blood bag I'm sorry I need to use that for healing like right now because I am about to die wonder sh one wonderland Oh, my waitlist mods are also working for some stuff, but some of these like newer items looks like they're still. Oh, there we go. That's I zoomed in. So this is, so this one C is still zero. Is still three carrying weight, but these ones are all not because these are from Fallout Four. But some of these are still carrying capacity. Still have carrying capacity because these are new. So I'm thinking that I need to download a different mod for this one. Okay, so uh, I wonder if this still works as a as um as part of glasses because I know I had negative one. I saw that. No, it doesn't work as glasses. Utility belt. I forgot I have slow healing when I'm in survival mode. Yo, no way, dude. <laughs> oh, that brings back memories. That's cool. Just the freaking blowing into the game cartridges and then putting them in. Yeah, I would have thought the um the, the, the welding goggles would work. you have a You got it, Uh huh. Yeah, no power. I can remove it from the main network. But what the fuck's that on the camera? Right outside, look. It made one of the floors. I don't give a fuck. Just get us out of here. They'll have to find the long one. Rerouting to emergency power. I'm gonna save it right here. I feel like I should be playing this on very hard just so I can just so I know what I'm getting getting into. A torch. Oh! It's like an actual flashlight. Fungal. Egg timer. And craft. Crafting. And... 
Wait, I can create a whole bunch of these and then just um and then just sell them. What does Hero do? Slows down time. Oh, that's basically Jet. Hero Roid. <laughs> Hype. Oh. I'll look at that some more later. That's cool. <laughs> so, Hero's supposed to be Jet. Oh, I should get the one that scraps down my, um. Get the mod that scraps my. My junk. I need to find the mod for weightless items too for for here. Where do I go? Oh, now it says I have plus one. What the heck? Um, how do I view my stats? What the fuck did I just take? Did I just take a stim pack? water. Oh, I can't go through there. Where are you going? I doubt you'll make it far, someone such as yourself. You were more useful as a lab rat. But alas, it seems I'm not long for this world. It's a shame, really. There was so much I wanted to do. Well, now you can't do it. Off you go, then. Be seeing you. I also got one for easy uh, lock picking, along with have easy hacking too. I wonder if they work. Because if my waitlist mod is working for the certain Fallout 4 items, and my legacy one, then my that surely my easy hacking and my easy lockpicking should work too. It it just basically it'll just save me time so I don't have to so I don't have to figure out my freaking figure out where it's at. That I can just keep it in one place and then just turn it. Whoa. Those up. Nick. You are quite the wayfarer, aren't you? Escaping all that hubbub. With all you've been through, I'm impressed. It seems I neglected to introduce myself. Very unprofessional of me. I'm Mr. Smythe. And you? Well, it doesn't matter who you are. Now, I'm sure you have many questions. And perhaps someday I'll answer them. But for now, Wayfarer, let's not stand on parade. Wayfarer? Since I'm all for giving one a sporting chance, I've unlocked the doors. Go. Stay safe. And remember, mind the gap. Mm. 
mine the gap. Is that like just a thing thing now in this one? Okay. Now I can search around here. Mind the gap is what they'll see at um at a train station, right? Got all these soldiers, bowler hats, former hats, summer hats. Oh, okay, I thought that was a duffel bag. I wonder what's considered money. I wonder if it's going to still be caps. Or if it's going to be something else entirely. It would be nice if there was a secret stash up there or something. Food, I'll take that. Food is food. Oh, here we go. Oh, fuck, that scared me. Okay, that was him just. <laughs> that was him just freaking chopping down on stuff. Oh, so this is a whole bunch of new food. Wobble steak, wobble egg omelet. Thames Hound. Rad Rat. That's those things we fought. Those rat those rats. Oh cool, I got some antibiotics. Oh, already got radi already got some radiation. <laughs> oh there's a terminal here. Sicko Ops. What's this? The water cooler. A football. Pre war shopping bag. Sheed. And this is supposed. Welcome to Shard. Is it Shard? Welcome to the Shard, London's premier luxury hotel and residence. We extend our warmest greetings to all guests arriving during this triumphant time. So, wait, well, hey, was I under a hotel? The heck? I was under a hotel? Just in case, if that's the way to go. Oh, shoot. Wrong one. Yeah, there we go. Alright. If this is not the right way. Going up. Or if it is, because I haven't explored anything else. I saw two doors. There's one by the elevator where I first came in, and then there's one when I was going back up. Oh, shit. I hear those rats. Oh, fuck. Oh shit, killed it. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Shit, I'm almost dead. Inaccessible, inaccessible. Jam door, can't even go in there either. Here we 
go. There we go, see? Oh god, I almost fell off! <laughs> do it! <laughs> do it! Do it! So this wasn't the right way. I almost fell off. Oh man, so that means when I drink water, I'm gonna gain um, radiation. Okay, no, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Wait, I got some meat. I can make some food. There we go, right here. Ah, oh, just one. It's just like the, uh, the rats. Not the rats, but the, uh, rad roaches. You cost three just to, oh, god damn it. Yeah, because the I know the the rad roaches also had like yet to get three. You had to get three. Oh hey, military cooler. Cool, I got some rad away. Oh, but that's gonna make me tired. No, we'll just. I was trying to debate if I want to keep playing on um. If I wanted to keep playing survival mode or just continue on on a different one. Oh. Oh shit, they already saw me. Oh shit, I'm gonna die! <laughs> oh my god, okay. Wait, where's my cooked meat? Oh, right here. Oh, cigarettes gives me 5% more XP. Aw. Uh -huh. Start looking around for more shit. A bottle. Oh. Can't get a bottle. Uh. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh fuck. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Oh, easy. There's a whole bunch of bottles here. I wonder if I can fill these all up with water. Ooh, should I go back and test it? See if I can fill these all up with water? Oh, you know, it shows like where my where my caps are right here. So it is kill. It is still caps. What is up with my carrying weight? Why does it say sixty? Nine, ten. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Wait. Oh, okay. I get it. And I get it. Okay, so. Here, it's my my junk is taking up forty one. My apparel's taking up nine. My food's taking up ten. Equals up all the way to sixty. Okay, I get it. That's cool. I'm all dissing on this mo. Oh, protect and serve. Now permanently marked. Okay, cool. So there's magazines. Another bag. No oh, more coins. Train map. And here's the. Oh. Okay.
So I'm getting some, uh, getting some stuff. Oh, here we go. Here's some food. Sweets. Pink wafers. And there's cake. Mm, can't do anything to it. You have to pay a ticket to get in. Oh, hey. Oh, I should have went back first. Or wait, I can I can still go back, right? Would it not cost anything? Uh can't search that. Ticket removed. Okay, so it does cost just one ticket. Let me go back. I want to go and. Oh, wait, right here. Oh, it's purified water. I want to drink until my heart feels better. <laughs> oh, up this way. before I go further. Oh, I can't? Okay. Oh! Oh, it's a functioning train! I wish these windows were bigger. You can expect I can't back. Oh, dude. Oh, can't move. Oh, it's a cutscene fly. Fallout London. Ooh. God, did the freaking dick crash? God damn. Lab rat, whenever those scientists did to you, it looks like. It took a toll on your body. Until you find a cure for this admint, you'll take 10% more damage in combat. Further investigations to your origins will lead you to the remedy. Okay. Railway spine! You, The crash left you rattled, and it'll take more than a stim pack to fix this kind of damage. Until you seek out medical professional, you will deal 10% less damage in combat. God damn it! On the mend. I like how it's not the Vault Boy, it's like this little figure. This little figure. Okay, so I wanted to use that. Okay, cool. Here we go. I got a cane. I could use that. So, I was also told that for this torch here, it's kind of bugged a bit. You can't really use it, and it's best to just use the pit boy light. When I was yeah, because when I was looking up the mod list for what could work in the mod list for this game, it was telling me don't use the torch, that because that can also mess up your performance, because the it's bugged, it'll cause you to crash. 
I was looking up like an ant, like a little video that helped with crashing because, because apparently people were crashing, and before I could boot up this game, I kept crashing at the start too, so I had to keep on recreating my intro. Because when I started it, I got like an infinite. Um, I got the. I like just kept when I tried to start a new game, it just kept saying. Um, it just didn't start up. Oh, there's a radio in here. Nice. Wait, can I see that in here? What's it called? Crystal Palace. The men? Hello? This is the British Broadcast Ministry. I'm Bradley Fortworth, your host and guide through the wonderful world of classical music. Welcome to the program. Let's begin. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Okay, so they're like little podcasts, and then one of them's for classical music. Oh, before I talk to them, I saw them. Okay. Oh, okay. Hydrated, okay. Eh. Not package enough. Rad works me. There we go. Bloody hell, what was that? Sounded painful if you ask me. Better not be those dogs up to something. I swear if it is. Not everything's the dogs, Johnny. You look like shit, mate. You are right. This one just came off the train, boss. Quiet, the both of you. Well, well, well. If it isn't the lab rat, you made it out. You're in a right state, ain't you? Never had a crash down here before. Do you have any water? I'm thirsty. Of course. Winston. Yeah, enjoy. Sweet. Who are you? Name's Gaunt. Sebastian Gaunt. And these dredges are Chill Winston and Johnny Shrapnel. But you can ignore Johnny. We're the Vagabonds. We're the roughest, toughest, sharpest gang round these parts. Not like the dogs. Snuff it, Johnny. Don't scare away our new acquaintance. So... Who are you exactly? Uh, I'm just lost and confused. I escape a lab? I think I'm also a train wreck survivor? Only the gentry use those trains. Looks like you're the wayfarer now, like the rest of us. Wait, what? Wait a minute, you were in that lab fighting those scientists. Yeah, he was supposed to be a supply run. We bought the location off someone in Thameshaven. Some old construction papers. I don't think I'm a... gun... tree? Uh, yeah, well, you don't look like it. What is this place? Lewisham. Or what's left of it. Who are the dogs? The, the Isle of Dogs Syndicate. Johnny gets a bit excited about them. I'm not in good shape. I need a doctor. Well then, Wayfarer. Seems like you've got two choices. You could head down that way to the Thames folk. Ain't exactly pleasant to look at, but appearances can be deceiving. They may even know a thing or two about that lab, seeing as they sold us the location. Otherwise, you can stick it out with me and my mates. We help you out, you help us out. Huh. What's wrong with the, uh, Thames folk? Hmm. How can I put this nicely? They look like chewing gum stamped into the pavement. Okay, that doesn't really help me. <laughs> what do you mean by helping you out? Let's just say that we're not the only gang sniffing around London. And we need help dealing with the competition. 
Obviously, we'd give you a little pick-me-up first. And what if none of that sounds appealing to you me? You could just wander off in a random direction, but I wouldn't recommend it. I doubt that you'd last long in your state. Yeah, I guess he's right. Uh, you can't tell me what to do! I go where I please! If you want to get yourself killed, go for it, mate. But I advise you head to Thameshaven. Head north to the Prilla Dog Food Factory. They can give you directions. Here, take this for the road. Its best days are behind it. Ah, oh, hell yeah! Like a switchblade! <laughs> a gift from Sebastian Gaunt. It's seen better days in old, blightly, but nothing a sharp eyed blacksmith couldn't work out. Ooh. Fuck oh, yeah, dude. Fucking switchblade. Probably better than this. It is. Try about this? It's the head of a fish. Swan and my visit the Vagabonds after investigating. Okay. A few looms. My god, it's so dark. Ooh, okay. Wait, I leveled up. What was the level? Of oh, it's T. Why are my all my um hints and stuff are gone? I don't know where it's all. I need to turn that on. Ooh. See, so yeah, Christmas ten. My luck's ten. Nice. Cannibal. Oh, strong back. That's what I need, dude. Oh, these are cool. Look at the freaking little animations for each one. Pickpocket, awareness, locksmith. Night vision. Increased VAT's accuracy in the dark and gives you night vision while sneaking. Okay. <laughs> That's every attack on the same body part gives 10% more accuracy. Oh, it's just simple sprinting drains 25% less AP. That's cool. Oh! Ticket collector. Buying and selling. The Wanderer. Hey, a dog! I think I can get a companion as a dog? I can get a dog as a companion, I mean? Party boy. What in the flip? Medic. Gun nut. That's for uh, this. Wait, is this one intelligence? Yeah, this is intelligence. So I got the basics, right? Yeah. I like how it's not like you can't go into different categories and look at it. It's all in the list. This is so cool. Action boy. I like how the sprinting one isn't in, in agility, it's in uh, endurance now. Ooh, luck. Bloody mass, mysterious stranger. Hey, James Bond! That's so cool. He is Savant. Oh, yes, this is what I need right here. There we go. Got it. That's what I wanted. I was hoping they had that, and they did. I think the next one I want to get is Bloody Mass, but at the same time, I also want to get the um, Strong Back perk. This is so cool. <laughs> 
Oh, plus these too, so I can do more damage to to the same sex I am. And then Lady Killer. Cool, I can't believe these are back. That's so cool. Guys, like everything's like fucking empty. There's usually always something in these suitcases. I'm sorry, hold on, where am I going? Train crash. Wow, dude. Don't get square. It's like actually in a city. It's not like there's no wasteland or anything out around here. I like how these double decker buses look. This is so cool. This is like actually how the double decker buses would look in a Fallout universe. Oh yes, let me save just in case if it crashes. Oh man, I don't know which way to go or like where to start. Well, I do need to go this way, so I guess we might as well go ahead and go this way. The fuck? <gasps> Ooh, what the fuck? Crooked ladybug. It's not even given like a freaking name. Should I just call it a rad lady? Grabbing everything because these these items, some of these items are actually just weightless too. Damn, but most of their stuff here is just empty. That's crazy, a ladybug. Matter of fact, I just killed that ladybug. I didn't even know if that ladybug was friendly or not. Because why would a ladybug be freaking hostile? Be hostile in a, um, after a nuclear war, right? What? What's that say? Hooligan? Oh, you shit. Be oh, what the fuck? Stab, get shanked! Oh, I died! <laughs> From one hit! Okay, round two, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> round three, let's go, come on. I got this now, come on. You bitch! <laughs> you waited until I striked! <laughs> round four, let's go, come on. Winner takes all now. Yeah, let's go! Oh shit. Oh. Ah. Alright, let's go. Troll, okay. Oh my god. Finally, see, I get the hang of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what happened was that when I got killed the first time, the game crashed on me. So, when I die, I have to load back on my previous save. I think that's the one way I can actually, like, save myself from crashing. I still need more other mods to download to help me with the crashings, but other than that, so far it's pretty good. Factory guard. Protect the dog. What? Oh, I'm gonna die. No, I knew it. I was gonna die. This pool cue does way more damage. What the hell?
There we go, okay. Dog. Okay. Okay, so this pill cue does damage, but it's kind of slow. I'm gonna go back to the switch knife. Mind the gap and all that. Mind the gap and all that. Who are you? God save the queen. God save the queen. Got business here? Acting. The fuck is your problem? Oh, calm down! I won't be calming down anytime soon. Me bloody dogs are dead because of you. Your dogs? They were mine. Churchill and the others. Some were strays, maybe. But mine? I fed them every day. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Oh, I guess you couldn't have known. Oh, forgive me. I'm an animal lover. Uh, to be honest, he's always getting picked on by the other strays. He really needs a home. With me work and all, I don't really have time to take care of the little guy properly. Hmm, why not make amends for everything? Think you could adopt him? Churchill's his name. Can he do any tricks? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Just licking his balls cows a trick. Okay. <laughs> I love a pet. Sure. Great. He's a real good boy. You do right by him, he'll do right by you. Just give him a little pat on the head if you want to take him with you. He's smart enough to work out the rest. Anyway, enough about the dog talk. Why are you here? I'm... How do I get to Demshaven? Demshaven? Don't Dems know why he'd want to go there. But, if you insist, keep following the road, past the bunker, past Fesco, then turn right. Keep going, and you'll reach the old tube station. It's down there. Is there any work available? I don't know. Talk to the owner. He's inside. Okay. What is this place? This here is the Prilla Dog Chum Factory. We're the number one canned goods supplier in London. Do you have any doctors on the premises? <laughs> Doctor, here, you're having a... Uh, I'm not supposed to talk about our health and safety practices. <laughs> it's in me contract. Huh, I'll be on my sure. way. Sure, sure. Rule Britannia, Britannia rule the ways. Britons never, never, never shall be slaves. Hey boy, wanna come with me? We like a pit bull. Or a pit bull. Fuck, that's too close for comfort, that scared mate. me. <laughs> scared me, the dog. <laughs> okay. Wells. Okay, can I talk? Can't talk to anybody. But I can go inside. No more heroes. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at him go. <laughs> See what you got. It's dog food. Cat? What a cat? Yeah, goodbye. No, that. I'm 
not going in a like, restricted area, am I? I gotta, gotta talk to this other guy, so I better go find that way up there. What is that sound? This sounds like multiple se people going, hey, hey. Stopped. Okay, god damn, I like fucking just kept going on and on. You, you don't work for me. What are you doing on my factory floor? What is all this yelling about? And you rushed to the rescue? You could be just what I've been looking for. Speak to me in my office. I have a business proposal for you. I don't like this guy. Good. I thought you were a smart one. That's why I want to offer you a job. Uh, yeah? I'm not stuffing tins of chum. Nor would I let you. This job concerns Alan Calloway, the ne'er-do-well you heard earlier. He needs to be dealt with. He's bad for morale, not to mention my profits. But I can't touch him. His following among the rabble grows daily. He seems to have it out for me, personally. He verbally attacks me at every turn, and I've been at my wit's end all month. No idea what to do. And then, who but an avenging angel graced my doorstep? What say you? Will you return this factory to peace? I don't like the sound of what you're suggesting. I've tried the peaceful approach. I bought him off. He just pocketed the tickets and kept on going. He's more money hungry than I am. God, okay. Then promote him. But tie his salary to sales goals. That's brilliant. He'll change his tune in a heartbeat. I won't even have to pay him more than I already do if I make it regional sales goals. I can just give him the absolute worst regions, and no one would take his complaints seriously if I'm working with him. Bless you. I'm the hero, and he's the villain now. <laughs> Follow me. You won't want to miss this show. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Harvey, what do you want now? Why, I've got good news for you. And I wanted everyone to hear this announcement. What are you up to, Harvin? I'm promoting you to regional manager. You now have the full authority to make changes that would affect regional sales. After all, you're receiving a share of the profits now. Your salary is now tied to our sales goals. No, you can't. You'll be in charge of regional sales in Bromley. But they're landlocked. Once you prove you can handle that responsibility, 
We'll look to add more territories. Oh, and don't forget, your pay's tied to sales goals, and we're a tad behind on those this quarter. You heard Arvin. We need to meet those goals. That means ramping up the conveyor belt speed. <laughs> Damn. I can't thank you enough for that stroke of brilliance. I'll double my profits off his lazy ass. That creativity deserves a reward. And a bonus. Stop by any time. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, I can't. Bonnie Blacksmith. Damn, okay. Bloody mass, do more damage. No, I can't talk to him now? Okay. Well then, that's one quest down. <laughs> Get promoted, now he has to do his work. Damn, that was a quick one. Quick quest. You'd have to be insane to take on the zombies. I can take these canned foods now. Oh, but I can't steal those ones though. Okay. Right, and it's daytime. Found something, Churchill. God, the dog, man. Oh, right here. Oh yeah. Okay, save. Got food. It's still kind of dark, man. Uh-oh. Ah, shit. Okay. Okay, so... Maybe in the next session, maybe in the next part, I'll just get rid of survival mode. Because I know I'm just gonna keep... I'm just gonna constantly keep dying here. Oh! Atta boy. Oh. Uh, you know, I gotta get... I gotta get that as my next, um... As my next perk. Lock picking, man. I need. I need it. I'm getting a lot of bobby pins and stuff. Boston bugle. What's a Boston bugle doing over here? Oh, gosh, I'm even about to die again. I 
am addicted. I can get addicted to this stuff? What the heck? These rats remind me of reminds me of those kangaroo rats. I don't have anything to fix my freaking um to fix my leg with. I think I'll just have to heal by itself. the store fesco I know I took away like the hints or something like that on here Show button hit bar right here. There we go. There we go. Oh, I did level up. Oh wait, was this before I chose um Oh no 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 okay this is a different level up. Alright, where was it at? It was in profession in uh, perception, right? Pocket locksmith, here we go. Mm, okay, I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna make that. <laughs> That sound, dude. There's some more mods I should download too that help me out with this. And it's I know it's gonna be like this, so I know I don't have any stim packs. Okay. So, you know, we should go ahead and end it off from here. And then for now, just so you can know, let's go ahead and get rid of that survival. You will not be able to go back. Yes, okay, I know. There we go, see? Alright, because I want to... I kind of don't want to, like, fuck it, just keep dying over and over. This is wasting time. I want to actually experience the game. So we're going to go ahead and leave it off from here. And we will continue on in this game in the next one. And I got to remember that every time I die, I got to load up from my last save. Because if I just let it load up by itself, it's going to crash. It's done that. It's done that to me once. So I don't want that to happen again. But this is so cool at, right now. I'm able to actually play it now. So I'll continue on. In the next part, we're not going to be playing on survival, we're playing on very hard. I don't want to actually experience the game, I don't want to slow down by dying every freaking time I go into combat. So, hope you all enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. It's Fox, and I will see you all next time.